Hey ho. Welcome, all comers of all ages. We are in World Warships in the Massachusetts. And another game. Another game of ranked. Mass B, to be a matter of fact. Now, take a look at the lineup. We got a Moggy, Constellation, a Togo Mine, and Benson. And they got a Atlantic Cove, North Carolina, Bismarck, two excellent brawling ships. North Carolina's good for sniping. Edinburgh could be smoke, could be radar, we don't know. And uh, Mines B and uh, Benson on Benson. So, as of as of which, uh, when it comes to brawling, they do have the advantage on this one. They they really do. Now, starting off, uh, try not to leak out those spoilers of the match. Uh, we are going to get some logistics up in the front in the beginning of the match. Uh, this is going to go down to the wire, guys. Uh, what helps out is our Benson actually gets the A cap force. But, but, I say but, I thought everybody I was going to see. And they, they start overwhelming uh, A. And, and everything just falls apart for us. But we bring it back. We bring it back. Now we do almost get a Kraken in this game. Um, the last few matches has been four kills on my part. Me taking out four of the enemy. Um, there's not too many times that I have had a Kraken in the game. Uh, if you have, let me know. Let me know what kind of ship that you was in. I mean, there's not too many Krakens that goes down on ranks in it. Be uh, 6v6. Sorry, I'm kind of occupied right now. I was, I was doing something else. I'm getting my mind back on the match. Uh, Right now it's positioning, positioning. Uh, I would have been okay uh, down here, seeing that there's only one to score on each team. Uh, since A is sort of open water between mid and A, Benson could have capped and scouted the mid area in A after after he achieved capping A. Uh, what he'd done wrong was he stuck around, and uh, he has no uh, BB support. BB is uh, abbreviation for Battleship. Um, I thought the Constellation was going to go with our uh, fellow uh, destroyer and cruiser cargo down there, but that was not the case. He uh, turned out that way. Uh, Atlantico and Edinburgh has uh, been spotted. Now, normally they wouldn't run straight in like that uh, without a destroyer escort, especially Edinburgh. Edinburgh only has a nine point something detection, so if you think about it, is he going to, and he's very, very squishy. He's like a, he's like a minotaur. Do um, you think that he would run into the cap, mid, just yellow and in by himself without no escort or eyes in front of him so that he could just get blapped out of oblivion? I don't, I don't think so. Don't think so. Now, whatever it is in B got there pretty decent, so we know it's going to be a cruiser at least. So, the only thing unaccounted for is the North Carolina and the Mines. Um, we got C Cap and Moggy, and Mines is going back to double back. Vince has been located. There he is, taking the A Cap. Now, Benson could have smoked up or something, and Otago could have kept resetting these guys, but, I mean, they're, you know, they take it back pretty easily. And I'm trying to tell the minds of my team that since four of the uh, enemy at, uh, ships have been spotted over in the left flank, that we're going to go ahead and push up towards B. Uh, mines have been located. We're going to open up on him. Uh, I got a bad habit of not using my spotter plane on this ship, and I know it helps with your dispersion and stuff. And like two overpins is sadly 
not what you want to get on a broadside and cruiser. North Carolina is fucked up. He's entered my brawling range for my secondaries to kick in. So we're going to keep focused on the mines and we're going to wheel away at this North Carolina. Now, this was a really, really, really good fight. Both sides put up a damn good fight. And it was a struggle towards the end. But the enemy made a mistake. A mistake that all people make in this game. What's that mistake, you ask? Well, you're ahead on points. And when I say ahead, I don't want to give it away too much, but I'm pretty sure they, they popped in at least over 100 on points. So, you know... Good close match gonna come down to like a 20, 25 point difference. You know what I mean? You could rack up 20 some points easy with two caps if you, if you get it back, like if it goes back and forth. But they maintain cap control for a very long time. Giving them a very, very comfy lead. The only thing that keeps them from smoking her asses is I start killing the motherfuckers. That's point blank. Uh, yeah, so like, North Carolina's going to ease around this, this section over here. But the, the mistake that they made, not trying to get off topic, ooh, 20K, that should have been some Citadels right there, is they get such a comfy point lead, they want to win harder. And what I mean by winning harder, um, they let their guard down thinking that they're going to win no matter how they sell their ship. No matter what decisions they make with their ship. I ain't a little too far forward right there. He got a gun, I got a gun. I'm not going to repair that. Eight seconds, just let it play out. But our secondary is rocky. Mines, his fellow uh, uh, mines, the enemy mines over there, where I was taking uh, shots at him when he was selling broadside, has let his uh, fellow North Carolina teammate get in a position where he had no support. And now I'm just now, he just now got me back into his range. And see, if, if that North Carolina would have had that support of that ship right there, It'd be, it'd be a different story right now. Got some shots out. Now that spotter plane. Even if, like if you're, if you're kind of new still learning the ropes. Even if, like a lot of people use it for range. You know what I'm saying? With a stock 18.3 range right now, it uh, boosts your range, let's see, 20%. And that's going to put me about 21 or something like that. And um, a lot of people just use it for range. But say if you're on one side and a ship's on another side of the island, you can't see him, right? Well, think about it. The name of the plane is called a spotter plane. So if you throw that plane up and that spotter plane goes, it just does a circle around the ship 24-7 until it go, or the cooldown comes. It will spot that ship for you, therefore letting you see what is going on and what moves he's making. Now the mines up here, I'm kind of getting fed up with him. He's done got away with several, several broadside, selling to me broadside. And I've got nothing but overpins and not landed that many shots. Now right here should be the death of the man. And it is, it gives me a PD deal. Enemy cruiser destroyed. And uh, that's our second kill for the game. Edinburgh, uh, hopefully my guns get reloaded in time to take the Edinburgh out. I should, it should be a one shot uh, stop. Uh, and can we get a blind Citadel on the man? Can we, can we, can we? Good grouping, good grouping. No, one we all we got one overpin. One overpin. 
It's been like this all day in rain. Even on ships, uh, we lost our destroyer and Ms. Mark took out of the And they're rocking a 200 point lead. And it's uh, halfway through the match. So you tell me. I'm telling you, it's a sweaty match. Sweaty, sweaty match. And I mean, holy moly, it's close. This kind of matches uh, people dream of right here. Now come on man, this should be a Citadel. At least one Citadel, one gun, or something. Knock his engine out or something. The ship is on fire! Still rocking a, almost a 300 point lead. Oh. Oh no. Well, 200 point lead. This right here will get us back in our standings. Now, I'm contemplating right here. You got a full health Atlantic Cole and a full, almost a full health Bismarck. Correct? Correct. Only thing we got working for us is we have more ships. Constellation over. Uh, he stayed in a, almost on the eye line the whole damn match. Um, I wonder how much he's tanked, but I'm, I'm contemplating my head right now. Okay, our mind's very healthy. Uh, he has no heals or nothing. This is my last heal. So. If I could ram Atlantico, no, I got one more hill left. If I could ram Atlantico, and then one of them ram Bismarck, we'd win the game. But as it stands right now, uh, it's not. We're coming back on points. 848, 744. They're ticking by two, we're ticking by four. Seven minutes left in the match. Seven minutes. Now, mind if he stays pretty well angled, he was getting in torque range. God bless the man. Now, if them land, we'll be in good standing. Okay, okay, okay. Broadside, I'll take it. Oh my, oh my. Only one over pin and two penetrations. I should have aimed a little bit farther forward. Let's get this back turret in on this. Back gun, back gun. Looks good, looks good. Rocket. It's going to be our fourth kill. Now, all we got to do now, guys, is not die. Let's not make the same mistake that they did. You understand what I'm saying? Mines could go dark here. Now his shells hurt bad because they will burn you down. And he looks like he's burning pretty bad over there. I'm kind of guess second guessing myself if I should open up on him or not because I can tank a lot of damage, but I mean, I don't have that much health. I have no more heals. Is this going to be my Kraken? Oh my 
god! One ricochet. If that ricochet would have penetrated, it would have been a GG for me and I would have had a crack. It's the GG anyway. Let's see if these uh, stats pop up. That's our second star right there. I mean, we only one more match and we'll be ranked out. Um, we've got close quarters, dreadnought, receive damage amount to get at least 120% of your ship's HP from four or more enemies and survive the battle, and high caliber, um, destroy four or two hits, 175, um, secondary hits, pretty good damage, I mean it's not the best damage, 131,000, second place, Yada yada, four kills. Uh, Dublin, Atlantico. After seeing his basic speed score, uh, score I understand why they, they pulled out broadside and they did deserve to win. Uh, actually, uh, like we got well, 12k on spotting, but yeah, we've done uh, 21k on, with our secondaries and 103k with our main guns. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, liked this, or find, found it amusing in some way, one or another, if you don't care, I'll ask you nicely, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll just keep putting videos out for you, for your entertainment to watch on your days that you're bored, or just want to learn something uh, to see if a ship's good. We all know Massachusetts is good, it's good in brawls, it's good in ranked, and it's good in randoms. Um, you can also take it into operations, which is also good. This ship stands up to most tier 10s, what tier 10s can dish out. That's battleships, cruisers, and yes, everything else. Um, and for doing the like and subscribe deal, I will leave you with a killer playlist you can find down here on the right. And YouTube will provide the best video that it thinks is best for you and if you don't know how to hit uh you know do the like and subscribe thing yet that's okay you'll see my little potato factory icon logo mascot uh, deal right here in the middle where it says watch again click him and he'll lead you the way uh my name is chris i run the potato factory channel and i will see you in the next video peace